welcome to the t and &E Service Center here in Kansas City, one of our most recent conversion centers for Evans Cooling Systems. My name is Mike Torvale. I'm the Marketing Director for Evans Cooling Systems, and with me here is Kevin Rutherford. How are you doing today, Kevin? Good. Great to be here. Good. Thanks for coming. Kevin is a small fleet owner and radio host of Trucking Business and Beyond on the Road Dog Channel. Uh, we're here to convert Kevin's 2005 Freightliner with a Mercedes engine, and Kevin's got a couple of miles on his truck. I think he's got 1.1 million miles exactly. so far in county. Kevin's going to talk a little bit about his experience uh, before we begin the conversion. Kevin? Thanks, Mike. You know, this started a couple of years ago. I, I was having some coolant-related problems with my trucks. And I realized that after owning trucks for 20-some years and really thinking that I knew trucks and engines and I had worked on them for years, I knew almost nothing about cooling. I knew when you needed some, you poured some in. But I, I started doing some research, and there's red coolants and green coolants and blue and pink and extended life and long life and standard life. And I, I found out that even the shops, uh, one survey over 50% of the shops didn't know which coolant should go in which engine. But the more I researched, the more I found out that all of the coolants were really glycol and water, and then the additive packages were what made the difference. Along the way, while I was researching this, I came across this waterless coolant, which you obviously know now as Evans, and um, I was so intrigued by the fact that there was no water in this, and I started reading the benefits of not having water in the coolant, and I really wanted to try it. So we contacted Evans, and we decided to convert two of our trucks after I looked at the benefits and we immediately saw fuel mileage increases. We were able to run our trucks hotter because the coolant handles it so much better. So we saw three and four tenths of a mile per gallon increase, which is just a huge fuel savings for us. But there's so many other benefits, a lifetime coolant, there's no corrosion. We uh, minimize or literally reduce cavitation problems and boil overs. So we were extremely happy with both of our conversions. We're here now to convert our third truck, and we're sure we'll see the same results. Well, that sounds good, Kevin. What do you say we get started? Let's do it. Okay. Hi, I'm Chris Jones with Professional Lubricant Supply. I'm here with Chris with t and &E Service, and we've got Kevin Rutherford's truck all cooled off, ready to start on this Evans coolant conversion. The following is not a training video for installing Evans Heavy Duty Coolant. Evans recommends professional installation at a certified install shop. Our latest listing of certified install shops are available at evanscooling.com. Converting to Evans Coolant begins with completely draining the system. After opening the radiator drain valve, the thermostats are removed to blow coolant out of the engine block and cooling system hoses. The heater core and auxiliary cooling circuits are also blown out. Evans designs specialty tools to aid in the process and recommends using a blower for the most complete conversion. Once the old coolant is blown out, a small amount of Evans coolant is added and blown out to help remove any residual water-based coolant. After reconnecting all hoses and components, the engine is ready to be filled with Evans heavy-duty coolant. After idling the engine, the water content is tested using a refractometer. A successful conversion will have 3% water or less. Your truck's cooling system is now protected for the life of the engine from corrosion, electrolysis, and high pressure. Evans Coolant also gives you the option to safely raise the operating temperature to increase fuel economy. Fuel economy gains are achieved by installing an Evans high temperature thermostat with a 205 degree Fahrenheit opening temperature and a coolant temperature sensor resistor pack. The resistor pack raises the fan on temperature without causing engine derating issues and reduces the runtime. Increasing operating temperature and lowering fan operation results in 3 to 9% improvements in fuel economy. Set. Thanks, Chris. I really appreciate you and the guys here at T&E doing this conversion for me. You know, I've converted three trucks now with this one, but the first two I had drivers in the truck, so I could only monitor what was going on. This is the truck that I drive personally. We pull our show trailer with it, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how it performs. Thanks again. 